I know, long time no see, but there was illness between me and everyone in my household, and then I had a planned surgery, and then I had an unexpected death. Um, my father passed away, so I was home for almost a month helping my family. So I'm back. I'm back to work. I have to work. I mean, but I also do this for fun because I love it. So I'm here having fun wearing something that I would never wear out in public just for you guys, <laughs> along with everything in this video except for the dress. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but this is Victoria's Secret swim and uh, things that go with swim, like the terry cloth dress. So I hope you like it. The first swimsuit is one that I don't love the pattern of, but at the time when I bought it, they had only this one in a size that I thought would fit me. It's a little big, but I don't mind that because it gives me full coverage on the back. It's really high-waisted, which also is not my best uh, style to get because I don't get a waist with everything taking up the space. Like, this would probably show, like, midriff on someone else, but not on me because there's no room. So... <laughs> <laughs> I bought it in, I believe, a 2X, but yeah, a 2 extra large, so that's a little big. And then the top, I definitely bought in 2 extra large because these triangles are kind of small. Um, not really, but kind of, and when I tried it on, I tried it on over clothing. I was really not in the mood to try it on all the way, so <laughs> I got 2X, and I was like, oh, it fits over clothing. And it's a weird design that I don't know if you could uh, change, like crisscross maybe. But yeah, so I have to pull it really tight in the back. And then I got it because I like the little peek of... I almost said boo, but that's probably okay to say. Um, <laughs> peek of boo at the bottom part of the top. So that was my thinking behind it. But yeah, I'm not in love with the style or the pattern, but I thought, whatever, it's black, it's it's okay. I also knew that I liked this style of top because I had bought something similar in the past. This uh, swim to sport they used to have, and it didn't give you the option to tighten it in the back, so I bought this one as a large. Uh, because I knew that I needed the underbust to be tighter and I wouldn't be able to tighten it because it's just an elastic band. So I got it in th with these shorts, which I really love the pattern of these shorts. And these have a cincher on the side to tie them up. And then these are also swim to sport. So you can wear them as exercise shorts or as swimming trunks. Oh, gym to swim, they call them. <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah, I love that. And then I got pink bottoms to match that other top. But I figured that top went with the flowers too. So, And they have a scrunch. I'm a person who buys something in every color when I like it. So that year I also bought the green and yellow because I love the neon yellow. And I bought the bottoms in a large, which I'm pretty sure didn't fit me all the way at the time, but they're stretchy. So, But now they'll fit me because that's closer to my size so the last style that I bought this or pattern that I bought this one in is this um, man I forgot the name of it handkerchief pattern bandana pattern I don't really know the name of the pattern but that's where you see it most on bandanas so also I didn't explain that this one has this to cinch up the back so I knew that I could pull it down to at least pull the, the boobs up in the front. And then, even though the back didn't tighten, it also has the peekaboo area underneath. So that was why I bought them years ago. Plus, I liked the fact that they were exercise and swim clothing. So I thought that was fun. So I know this next dress seems kind of boring on camera, but I really liked it, and it was really comfortable. And I love the fact that it cinches up on the sides. And it's like terry cloth material, so it's kind of like a towel for swimming. So I just thought that was fun because for someone like me who likes to cover up when I go outside or has to because of the sun, I thought it was great. 
and it fit well and I really wanted to get in other colors. Uh, I got it in an extra large because that basically fit me in the upper area and so I knew I could cinch the other part down a little bit and it would be tight because it's supposed to be tight down there so it worked but I didn't get in other colors I think because they didn't have it. I, I like got to it when all they had left was the black and then like some extra smalls in the other colors so but I'm okay with black. So going back to the first style of bikini, I actually got it in white also, and I managed to also buy two extra large in it. I'm not sure why. I think I bought it before I tried on the other one without clothing to make it actually fit right. This thing is so confusing. Uh, and this one is a two extra large top, but I don't even know how. I got it tangled so much. <laughs> but it also has the peekaboo area. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Kind of like that. <laughs> so, yeah. I just thought it was fun to have a white one because it goes with things like everything for my cosplay and stuff. Like, one year I did the Cupid costume with just white uh, top and bottom. Um, Actually, I think I did white bottoms for like, you know, and then a beige top, but yeah, <laughs> it was cute. I actually thought it was really cute, but, and it was surprisingly not taken down on Instagram, so that was cool, because I was wearing clothing, but whatever. That's besides the point. I'm going way off track. So the last item for this video is a one-piece swimsuit that I got at Victoria's Secret that I thought, I was positive it was going to fit, and I was like, oh, it'll totally work. <laughs> It didn't. The top was, like, I thought that these triangles would, you know, like, go up here and then uh, tighten. But no, there's these cinch things right here that go under your ribs. So then all that left was a little triangle <laughs> to cover things. So, as you can see, it's a little small. And it wants to fall out. And these are connected to the shoulder straps, so, like, to you know, when you tighten them down, there's not much you can do about it. But the bottom part fit, and this is a large. And it was on clearance. I can see now that they marked it out. That's probably the other reason I bought it. It still smells like the perfume they spray all over the store, which I don't love. But yeah, I thought this one was pretty. Just a nice basic black swimsuit with this detail here. But this detail doesn't stretch or do anything. It's fake. It's not you can't lace it up yourself, so that also kind of took away from being able to wear it as well as I thought I could wear it. So now it's just a work piece instead of something I could wear out in public. I have another video to do with the rest of the Victoria's Secret items that I have. Uh, they're not swimsuit related. They're all like one's pajamas, one's a nighty, you know, stuff like that. And hopefully I can do that video. I might have to wear a bikini under a couple of the pieces. We'll see. But yes, that's my video for today. Victoria's Secret swimsuits. I think that they're well made. They are expensive, but they always have sales or coupons or clearance. So that's the only way I buy a lot of their stuff is if it's on sale or with a coupon because I don't know, like $90 for something is not always the best price. And then sometimes the tops are 30, or not 30, they're not even close to 30, but like 40 for the top, 40 for the bottom. I don't think they're worth that, but especially because they don't actually fit me. If they maybe actually fit me, maybe, but yeah. So I just buy when there's sales and coupons and things that I love. But the next video has a couple of things that I think are just super cute and they definitely don't fit me, so you'll probably enjoy seeing them. I'm filming this and hopefully editing this and putting it out on Christmas Day. So, Merry Christmas. And the B-roll footage was filmed two months ago or more when I thought I was going to get to making this video. So, things are different from then to now. Um, I had my surgery to fix everything that I had from surgeries past. And now I'm really happy with the results. So, I'll 
definitely be making more videos. It's just a matter of time now. And I'm going to the convention in Las Vegas next, well, next, well, kind of next week. I don't know. If you consider Sunday this week, then yes, next week. And we're staying uh, in a really nice hotel that I'd, I'm like never been to. So that'll be fun. And I've really never been around Vegas except for a couple of like really quick half hour stop in and out trips. So this should be fun. We've never had a honeymoon either. Maybe that'll be kind of like our honeymoon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see Instagram for a link to everything else. And hopefully you're having a good day today and hopefully you can make someone smile, even if it's just yourself.